Well, hey there, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. I hope that uh, you're having a great week so far, wherever you're watching from. I've got a question for you. Have you ever had to uh, rehabilitate after an injury or, or recuperate after maybe a, a surgery or procedure or something? Because there's always that, that period of, of activity and training and recovery that you know you have to do, but you really don't want to. See, uh, back this spring, I, I hurt my back in a motorcycle accident. Uh, and, and for a while, I just kind of sat around hoping it would get better. Then after several weeks, I realized that I needed to be more intentional. I needed to, to go to physical therapy and I needed to, to do some uncomfortable and painful things in order to recover. So for several months, I would do exercises and I would, I would do these you know, particularly assigned things in order to heal and recover my back. But I didn't enjoy any of them. They, they were all, especially at the front end, they were painful. They, they would leave me sometimes in more pain after than I was before. But after a while, I started to notice it, it got better. And after a while, I started to see the fruit of that pain and difficulty. And it started to show me that it was actually helping and blessing me. Leaning into the discomfort actually helped me to grow. And the same is true of our spiritual life. There's places where we need to grow stronger spiritually, and sometimes the way to do that is to lean into uh, efforts and, and habits that may not seem pleasant for us at the time. See, uh, we find this in Hebrews chapter 12, starting in verse 11. It says, No discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful, maybe literally painful. But it says, Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. He says, therefore, strengthen your feeble arms and weak knees, make level paths for your feet so the lame may not be disabled, but rather healed. See, I don't think he's talking specifically about training our, our arms and our knees, but if you need to do that, then maybe hit the gym later on today and work on that. But I think this is a great reminder that we need to look at our, our life spiritually. Where are we weak? Where are we not at the full capacity of what God has called us to be? Where are we not measuring up to God's expectations for how we're living for him in our life? And are we leaning into the discomfort of growing in that? See, as I was a, a new Christian, uh, as a teenager, there were several times that I heard my small group leaders and youth group and, and older you know, saints in the church say things like, oh, you shouldn't pray for patience because God's gonna give you all kinds of uncomfortable things to be patient for. And it seemed like kind of an odd thing at the time, but as I was young in my faith and just young, literally, I was like, oh, well, okay, I guess that's a good idea. And then I got older and started to realize that patience was something that God was going to teach me anyways, so why avoid asking for it? And the same is true. You look all throughout Scripture. You, you look at the fruit of the Spirit in Galatians 5. You look at what love is in 1 Corinthians 13. You have all these attributes that God lays out these are his desires and expectations for us. And we can't avoid them because they're uncomfortable or we don't like them or they're unpleasant. But rather, we need to lean into that discomfort, maybe that pain of growing in those areas so that we can reap the harvest and the benefit from leaning in and being trained by it. So here's your homework for today. I know you didn't tune in to look for homework, but I'm going to give it to you. So your homework today is to go to Galatians chapter 5 and read the fruit of the Spirit. And as you do that, just read through and pause and think, how am I doing in each of these areas? How am I doing at living out the fruit of the Spirit in my life? And where do I need to lean into some growth? Where do I need to ask God to, to help me grow more intentional at representing Him and living out the character of Christ in my life? And the place where you pause and go, oh, I really don't want to work on that, is probably the place you need to start and lean in to the discomfort. Because no discipline seems pleasant at the time, but I do know that the words of Scripture are true, that there's a harvest for those who are trained by it. There will be fruit that comes in your life when you lean into the, the, the difficulty and discomfort at times of choosing to walk the way God has called you to and it's worth it on the other side. So today, I hope that you will be trained by God working in your life and that you'll see yourself stronger and more Christ-like on the other side. We'll see you next time, Calvary.